Hey, how's it going? It's Jonathan Miller. Let's go for a drive. If you're new here, please consider subscribing, hit that button, give us a thumbs up, and hit that bell at the end of the video if you liked our content. I was kindly invited to BMW of the Main Line in Ballykindle, Pennsylvania, just outside of Philadelphia, to check out the brand new BMW 3 Series codenamed G20. This one we're looking at is the 330XI four-wheel drive. We're looking at the heart of the beast on this 2019 BMW 330XI. Power comes from a 2-liter inline-four turbo, producing 255 horsepower, 295 pound-feet of torque. With the all-wheel drive system, you'll get a 0-60 to 60 of 5.3 seconds. Power is routed through an 8-speed sport Steptronic transmission. As you'll note, there's no manual transmission on this new G23 series. This new 3 Series, codenamed G20, like all 3 Series, is known for 50-50 weight distribution. They've also increased the front and the rear track of this car to make it wider. It's a little bit longer, so you're going to get increased stability, handling, especially on those high-speed maneuvers if you take it out on the track, on the highway, etc. The 330 comes in two guises. One is the 330 rear wheel drive. This one is the 330X drive, which is BMW's all-wheel drive system. It is a rear biased all-wheel drive system. So for you sports car guys out there, you guys that like handling and feel of a rear wheel drive car, but want that extra little stability and traction, especially in the rain or snow, etc. This is a great all-wheel drive system for you because you're going to get mostly that rear wheel drive feeling it'll send power to the front when it needs it. So BMW has gone to great lengths to increase rigidity and lighten up the car. So this car is actually 25% more rigid than the outgoing model. The body in white as they call it, which is basically the frame of the car before it's painted and anything's put in it, is 44 pounds lighter than its predecessor. The front pieces of the suspension, the engine mounts, the subframe, a lot of that stuff is now in aluminum to save weight. So you're going to get a really good handling car, lighter on its feet, more nimble. So de BMW is definitely keeping with the sporty feel of the 3 Series. For me as a BMW owner and a BMW M lover, the 3 Series for me is the basis of the BMW brand. You want to get this car really solid so you can build off it, especially when we're going to come out with the M3 and M4 based on this chassis. This car is optioned with the $5,000 M Sport package which we'll take a look, basically you'll get the M wheels, you'll get the M aero kit, so you'll get the bigger front bumper cover, you'll get the M sport steering wheel, you got, as they call it, the shadow line trim, which basically blacks out all the chrome trim, you'll get sports steering, sports suspension, so it's a really ni nice package, the cars look really good with the M sport trim, I, I personally would order it with the M sport trim. You get a lot of upgrades on it, you're going to get a much more sporty feel and definitely a much more sporty look. Let's go for a drive. So we've got this 8-speed automatic transmission. There's a little button on this other side that says unlock. So to get in drive, I have to press that button in, push it down, and it'll put us into D. Let's put it on sport mode. And let's get out of here. The first thing I noticed driving this car just out of the uh, BMW dealership is that I'm in this M Sport mode. So I'm in Sport mode. I have the M package on the car. So I'm in the I have the M Sport suspension. It's actually pretty stiff. Um, and the major major thing I feel is this new variable um, M steering. It definitely feels aided. It would be interesting to feel this around a track. I'm not quite too sure what I think about it. We'll go around some turns and see how it feels. But I've got this beautiful M Sport three-spoke steering wheel. Feels good in the hand. I've got the heat blowing. It's 40 degrees and windy and pretty chilly outside today. 
So that's nice. I've got heated seats and I'm loving these two digital displays. Very clear, very crisp and bright on the left hand side. It gives me my digital speedometer and it also does this like sideways U of the speedo. And on the right are my revs, which are actually kind of hard to see. It's it's pretty lit up red, and the only thing is there's like a little white button, I mean white line, that will change through this sideways U. So I don't know if I'm thrilled about that. Uh, right now I've got the screen with the navigation in the center of the screen. So as far as the exterior on this car goes, I think for me the biggest surprise I saw when I saw the pictures were these tail lights. They are definitely much different to previous 3 Series. You've got this three-dimensional shape here, and it's almost smoked clear part. I think it's going to have to grow on me. I do like the smoked out clear section. The red looks good. As you'll see on this M Performance package, you've got this cool cutout on the rear bumper, this blacked out kind of diffuser area. You've got the chrome tips. As we know, 330i on the other side, you'll see the X drive, which denotes the four wheel drive system. We've got our little rear view camera there. So I think, let me know in the comments below do you like the back of this car? Do you like these taillights, or would you like to see something different? It moves. Wow, very, very impressive. It's very linear power delivery here. The sports steering feels much better when you're in the turn. When you want to do short little movements, it feels kind of funky, but put my foot down this thing goes. So the car has these paddle shifters, so basically you can grab a gear anytime you want. You can put it in manual mode, but I'm in the automatic mode. I'll downshift now, it'll tell me I'm in M4, M3, M2. Shifts are super fast with this new 8-speed Steptronic automatic transmission. So let's give us some gas up this hill. I'm in manual mode, second gear, and foot down. Red lines at 6,000. Wow. This car has a lot of juice for a little four-cylinder. Makes my four-cylinder and my GTI look like a pedal car. Shifts are super, super quick. Biggest complaint so far is the car doesn't make any noise. It's like all intake noise from the front. Doesn't make much exhaust noise out the back. So if I'm an enthusiast, I'm probably going to look at putting pipes on this car. I'm sure the aftermarket guys are waiting to get their hands on this new 3 Series. 3 Series, M3s are big cars for people to modify, for people to track, autocross, etc. So if you guys are blue fans, which you know I am, this color is called Portimao Blue Metallic. $500 option. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. If I'm not, leave a comment down below. Let me tell me if I'm pronouncing it wrong. I'm sure it's Italian. It's very similar to um, Estero Blue which was on the last generation 3 series and also a standard color on the E36 M3s. It's a very, very pretty color. I most likely would order my 3 series in this color. I would go with a black interior. This one is called Canberra Beige Vernasco Leather. It's a $1,700 option. So we'll take a look in there and see what that looks like. I'm inside this new 3 series 330. And you'll see it's definitely different than the old ones. It's um, very modern. I like it. We've got two digital dashes. This one is much more integrated. The old, as they call them, the iDrive screens used to be kind of, you know, taped on almost, sitting on top of the dash. This one is much more integrated. The new BMWs with their digital dashes is really nice. This one has the M pack, and so we've got this nice thick three spoke M steering wheel heated, which is awesome. Like I said before, eight speed automatic transmission is your only option. This is the controller for the iDrive system. 
we've got the start stop button right here and we can put the different modes sport comfort eco pro we've got the electronic parking brake no more manual parking brake i like that they have kept the climate controls as buttons I find it very difficult when everything is on touchscreen. So if you want my heated seats and I want, you know, to change my air or put the defrost on or what have you, I like a button to be able to press that. So that's really nice. You'll see we've got this new trim. I'll link on the screen what this trim is called, but it is like a textured aluminum looking trim with like these black designs in it open it up we've got a wireless charger a usb port 12 volt and two cup holders is really nice so now i'm just on the auxiliary power i don't have the car running right now but you can see we'll click the home button and we've got all the different modes here media communications nav car etc it is touchscreen that's really nice and quick so Props to BMW for that. Nice infotainment system there. There's our car. Same blue color. The BMWs do come with this new voice control system. So let's try it out. Let's see what it can do. Hey BMW. What's my range on my gas tank? The remaining range is 412 miles. Heated seat. I'm setting the seat heating on the driver's seat at level 1. Heat to 70 degrees. I'm setting the temperature on the driver's side to 70 degrees Fahrenheit. So as you can see, the system will, over time, learn your commands and your voice. So the first few times might take a while, but once it understands what you're trying to say, hopefully it should work a little bit quicker, a little bit faster. So my honest opinion on this, the base 3 series is 330, is I'm very impressed. I'm definitely not upset at BMW for changing this car, making it a little bigger. They've kept it light, handles really well through that turn. I'm in the all-wheel drive car. I think they've done a great job. We've got a great platform. For me to look forward to in the M3, I'd like to see them offer a manual transmission in this car. I think that would be really good. I'm going to link some new friends down below, the Three Pedal Car Club of America. Like them, I definitely want to see a manual transmission in this car. I think it would just be a blast. With this four-cylinder turbo motor, I think if you could rev it out a bit, uh, shift through the gears. I think it would be so much fun. You guys that are, don't want to drive uh, manual transmissions, you are definitely missing out. Especially on cars that they're not super cars. We're not looking for marketing, you know, 0 to 60 numbers where you do need that super quick shifting dual clutch transmission. Most cars we're driving on the street, we're enjoying them. We're maybe taking it to the track. You just really want to enjoy the car. And I think with a manual, you will enjoy the car 50 times better than driving an automatic, even shifting through the gears, because for me, it gets really boring. I've already turned it off. Uh, just driving around town, shifting the paddles with my hands. No thanks. So I want to thank BMW of the Mainline so much for inviting me out to drive this brand new 2019 BMW 3 Series G20. 330xi i really appreciate it if you're new here please consider subscribing hit that subscribe button give us a thumbs up if you like the video hit that bell to be notified when new videos come out thanks a lot for watching take care and drive safe